when he's hanging? I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Please let it be possible somehow to be in position yet still able to fall to your death from here. It's like, alright, you're in position. Drop down. Ah! <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe. But he didn't have an idle animation, so I'm done hanging around. Uh, so, you're right. It would It would be a good... Yeah, I'm just gonna continue. I hope you watched the previous episode. Hey, yeah, I'm just gonna continue that conversation right away. Yeah, um, if you're confused, go back to the last episode. Right. Um, but that's um, if you remember the TV show Leverage. That's how they right. operated. They had more time to work with than a single story arc. But each season, they decided it would be self-contained because they knew. There's no guarantee in television that something's going to get renewed for another season or not. It's just you can't count on that sort of thing. So they didn't. Season one is perfectly self-contained. You could watch season one and that's it and have a complete story in, in your memory banks because it's just super good the way it is. You could then watch season two, and it's another complete story arc that has a good ending and doesn't need any more. Oh. All five of those seasons are kind of written like that, except for sort of maybe kind of the last one, where it was just, oh, we didn't get renewed, and they're really sad about it, because you know that there's a lot of invo emotional investment from the writing team in the characters and the premise and the universe they've built up here. Well, I, and I they're just kind of bummed that they don't get to do anymore. I, uh, and the ending kind of conveys that. But at the same time, I believe on that particular series, they were told that they were, uh, like at the onset of that season, they were told that they were getting two more and not just that one. Oh, that sucks. So they that wrote it sucks. with the understanding that, oh, this is going to be two seasons. And then it... <laughs> Whoops, no it's not. Wrap up all those loose ends. Right. Which is also another one of the pain in the ass things about running for TV is because sometimes you could have as much time as you promised. Sometimes you could have more. Other times you could have a whole butt ton less. And it's up to you to just cram story items into the time you're allotted uh, and make sure everything wraps up. And Ava, it's not always done in a satisfying way. Yeah, Ava, Korra season one. Oh, God, oh yeah. Oh, God, Korra season one got, like, if... So the uh, Avatar, the Avatar series, and we're talking about the series, not the not the movies, or not... Yeah, not not yeah, the movies. Not the, not the Avatar movies or Avatar The Last Air airbender shitty movie um i'm talking <laughs> about the the like the cartoon series um so cora was initially um oh that's a gap that, that's dead a um cora was initially going to be a i believe it was just supposed to be like a made for tv movie like a four-part made for tv movie and they showed the first like couple and they're like oh okay yeah can you extend this out into a full season and they're like okay and then part way through they're like oh no no um sorry we know we told you a full season we mean 10 episodes and then at about episode that's not a full season and then at about episode eight they're like no no uh sorry we meant 16 <laughs> and then at again, make up your minds and again at episode 11 no no we mean 13 and it is Dexter does the same thing I do when I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. No, he just starts doing kata. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's why that one feels very, very disjointed compared to the other ones. The to other be seasons, fair. which are all like you can tell that the entire season was written as one chunk. T to be fair, though, that's kind of the impression I got from Korra. Like all of it. It was just, we don't, we don't know what we really want to do or yeah. what we're allowed to do. And there seems to be some contention on many of those factors. Like, what can we do? What did we want to do? Ah, uh, more airbendy stuff. Okay, that's fun. Let's do more of that. 
You ever notice how pro bending just vanished in the middle of season two? Yeah. It's just, yeah, that used to be a thing. Oh, that was. And, okay. <laughs> and it's just, it's just not there anymore. It, yeah. was, it was a thing, and then it wasn't. But um, really, with, with no repercussions. To, to get to back to the the thing that started this off, talking about you know the ready at dawn. Um, oh, I can, I can, I can make that. Uh, just not from there. Can you? Uh, I will try. Or uh, for Chris, I will try. Do it, do it for Johnny. No. I won't do it for Johnny. Man, not even I get that reference. I, I just know it. that it's funny to at least one person in the world possibly uh -huh. still alive today. Oh, that was worth three. Chris would be very proud of me. Um, but the Ready at Dawn games have that issue of <laughs> everything gets killed. Dead. Um, everything needs to be wrapped up um, with within the game itself, but it means that um, certain aspects that they might want to explore... Like, um, oh, he doesn't have to be out for me to stun him. That's nice. Oh, eh. um, that they might want to explore. They're not allowed to, um, because that would have a lasting impact on such and such character. So, um, they bring up in, um, I think it's not Chains of the Loop, uh, Ghost of Sparta, which is one of the, there, there's two God of War PSP games. It's Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus. Um, and... In Chains of Olympus, they introduce Kratos' daughter, like, is in that game as a, a plot point for it. As someone who's alive? No. Because I thought he no. done ate his whole, whole family. Oh, he, he did. Um, but you you go to the underworld. It's a God of War game. Oh, okay, the yeah. But in that one, you meet Kratos' daughter, and then it's... Oh, she's in a scene, and we got to wrap it up because uh, we're not allowed to. Uh, we got to play with the toys and put it back away. Um, <laughs> or in, um, or in the second one, uh, Ghost of Sparta, they introduce Kratos' brother. You've never heard of him before, uh, but yeah, he's introduced as a plot point for this game, and uh, now we got to put him away. You're never going to hear of him again, ever. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, wow, this that's like a big character development thing. I would like to know more about that. And it's like, sorry. Hope you, <laughs> hope you liked what you got, because uh, that's all we're allowed. But how we want to know the story of dear old brother Bratos. <laughs> Brotos. <laughs> <laughs> Brodos, the guy who worshipped Brosidon and became too swole for this world. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, King I, of the Brotians. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Did I just, you, just, you did, just completely short-circuit you there? You did. Uh, I, also, I'm noticing a shocking amount of similarity for the, from the game mechanics of this game and... Not Deadly Premonition. Lethal Alliance, that's the one. Yes, but this because one... Because the slidey shit with the move this way, move that way, get your booty out of the way of the sliding shit, and then you won't die. Yeah, but this one seems to be better implemented. <laughs> True, it does seem like less of a pain in the ass. It, mo it moves a little slower so you have time to actually do the things that are expected of you. Mostly because I'm not playing and thus don't have to process this as quickly because I am on one of the biggest sugar crashes I've been on in a while and oh, I'm not functioning very well. But also, this game seems to be made by better developers. So And we're very conveniently back to the main hub point. Yeah. All of a sudden. And it's the main bad guy. Or what are you talking about? This guy is totally on the up and up. Can't you tell? Uh, not with a hood like that. But and with as pale of a green-tinged albino face as that guy has. Osmar Itchy Trousers was the name of his great-grandfather. His family name is Itchy Trout. Look at those eyebrows. You can't tell me those are the eyebrows of a good guy. Patrick, those are the eyebrows of a good guy. Bullshit. Those eyebrows could be voiced by Alan Rickman. Okay? Just the eyebrows. But I just completed two jobs. How can you say if we don't complete jobs, 
will lose when I just completed two of them. You're getting paid again. Oh, to the hangar. What are we gonna? We're gonna get on the 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 Bustin mobile. Do we have <laughs> to the Dexter wing? <laughs> With our, our custom bug catcher claws. No, it's my custom riding lawnmower. Come on. A John Daxter? <laughs> Daxter? A Daxter. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the whole rest of the next level is just going to be filled with... <laughs> Patrick. Oh. He said that this has been in his family since the curly crab infestation of 67. SpongeBob? <laughs> uh, what? Also, he that has sound a teleporter gate. What the shit? <laughs> that was a teleporter gate in his hangar. Okay. It's it's part of his hidey hole. You know, when the infestation gets too big. I'm Great. Gonna, I'm going to bug out. <laughs> okay, that's a thing that happens. There are 26 gross flowers. And I hold L to, to de degross well, uh, de this flower? Yes, yes, I do. There we go. I've degrossed the flower somehow. Um, and, I and somehow not degrossing it properly oh, hurts the I car. Have a break. I can. I can. Oh, so breaking also turns the camera to the left because. <laughs> that's that's. Didn't you have those old timey bicycles where you had to pedal to the left in order to stop? Uh, I had one of those. No. Because <laughs> my parents believed in real bikes. Oh. Mine had He-Man on it. That's how you knew it was a real bike. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I don't think we have enough health to heal 23 more flowers. It's not... Oh, it is hurting me. What? Yeah. Every every time you roll over those those dark, gloomy clouds over the flowers, you, you heal them, sure, and you collect them to decrease your, your gross flower count, but it injures the bike. And so you're losing bike kit points. And also you need to refuel your bike I, clouds. I, I'm trying to find a way to get... There we go. You, you just need to roll over a, a fart refiller, and then you can degas the flowers. Okay, so it only hurts me if I don't hold down the poison before I get to... Except you're hurt more now than you were before you were doing the things. Yeah, but see, I, I took less damage that... I, I don't... Less damage. Which means, don't fuck up, because you're not playing the game right. But I want to play the game. Oh no, that's a timer! A timer? Yeah. Bullshit! Yeah, that's totally a timer. But hey, he at least lit them up now, so I know where the hell I'm going. Why is this timed all of a sudden? I think that was clearly acting as hit points before, and now it's just draining steadily? Why? I... You know what? I don't know. I, what I, I, what I, purpose could this possibly serve? Uh, the the purpose of making this level actually a challenge. Except they could have done something else uh, to make it a challenge. Yeah, it totally didn't have gonna, to be I'm a totally time based thing. I'm totally gonna fail this because like I I don't know what that. Yeah, the challenge here isn't. The challenge here is getting the controls. To work yeah, and that's neighbor. bad. That's bad game design, straight up. I just, I'm, I'm struck dumb by how bad it is, and you missed one. Well, I, and I, you also ran out of, out of gas farts. At, at this point, I was. Oh just, my god! I was just trying to find where the heck I needed to go. So. But they won't be lit up for us until we start the mission again and are almost failing. What the shit? There's no reason to put a time limit on this. None whatsoever. Uh, suck up more farts and then fart on the bugs. There was a one down here. Yeah, there was one down here. 
I got it. And then, hey, y'all. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Get more farts. Taking, yeah, that, <laughs> taking my farts and going home. <laughs> totally a timer. Oh, that is so stupid. Oh, that is so stupid. I hate time-based puzzles, especially with controls as floaty and shit-tastic as this. Yay. Do uh, fart gas? Do you have enough fart gas? No. You do not have enough fart ah, gas! No, no, ah! Ha ha ha! I had enough. All right, there's yet. ten more to, that we need to fart all over, and uh... excuse me. Oh, there's one. I found one. Oh, all right. I can't, I can't. It, oh, wait, wait. Where'd they go? Uh, it, it's okay. All we need to do is suck some more, and then, then the boss man will show us where they are. Well, I'm hoping that it's not going to be a case of that little ramp area that I didn't go up to at first is where most of them are. Because that's totally where most of them are going to be. Because that's just, you know, the logic of a video game like this. Well, of course. You have to go everywhere. <laughs> also, what are you waiting for? <laughs> just... Let's get, let's sneak up on this flower. Oh, I already Th got This flower requires stealth. <laughs> this one in particular. Hurry up, asshole! Finish leg exterminating those bugs! Oh, Arbitrarily, this is now time sensitive. Also, I'm Samos now. <laughs> Samos couldn't be here for the game. I'm two guys now! <laughs> yeah, alright, two left. Oh, there's. Find the glowy, obnoxious light beams. <laughs> oh, there's, there it is. <laughs> last one, last one! Yay! And I still got fart juice left. You're almost out of time. Fart on those flowers. I farted them to death. Yay! Uh, what's happening? Oh my god. Quick! You only have 30 more seconds or something. Oh wow, that's drained fast. Oh god. Okay. All right. Um, ramming speed, I guess. Or the plant is going to die. Oh my god. Oh my god. It expects you to do so much bullshit. Got it. Okay, where's the last? Right, that uh, one. Ha -ha. And gotcha. yay! Yay! I saved the big plan. Did, did we win? No. No, it's no. giving birth to a boss. Awesome. Aww. How about we? Uh, how it's about we the fight? Queen Dexter. Let's fight this thing on the next episode, shall okay. we? Sounds like a plan. Bye, everyone. Later, guys. Bye. Let me get you. Let me get you. There's no time for now. I'm gonna get you. Starry skies